Hey you guys, and here go another art report. I'm joining me today is John from the John Gray Show or John the A. Gray. Why are you looking like that, man? Stop You're welcome. Stop I'm, looking. I'm in this video. Stop looking like that. You man. are all blessed to see me, okay? Because I'm great. That and how and my this little, guy knows it. That's how my little brother looking at me. Man, <laughs> man. But anyway, we got the whole ser we got the serious towards urban um, fishing. I got like a hate for urban fishing right about now. Hate? And you know, I like break down each category and actually talk about different damn you know, characters, characters and different subjects, plots, that, plots, everything that I gotta do with. Even um, though plot is sort of non non existent. Wait, most everything of that gotta do with a urban fiction or write a book entirely. But today we talk about characters, and this is my major one of my major problem with an urban book is the fact that the characters. Not all urban books, but some. <laughs> I gotta say some. I gotta highlight some because somebody will come out of nowhere. Not everybody right that way. Yeah. Oh, shut the fuck up and stop making this about you. But Thank anyway. you for that. But anyway. Piece of information. The thing is, all the guys been this the same hood ass dude. Cutthroat. Super aggressive. Like totally territorial and just trying to just get what they want. It's just so annoying. They all got tattooed. They all brown skin, perfect teeth. It's just, oh, muscles. You forgot muscles. About muscles. And, like, and you're reading this shit like. And you know, it, it, what's the only differentiating factor? Just this. One one nigga may have a taper. One nigga might have braids or dreadlocks. Or one guy may be that black guy man who's who pops up in all the Tyler Perry movies. Who's always the main love interest. But I may not be able to afford it. So <laughs> one of them niggas. Yeah, 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 man, or man, they all uh -oh. man may be that bald dude from that Law and Order. That shit is so infuriating. I'm getting tired of reading about that. I'm like, I'm reading a book right thing? now. It's so infuriating. Do you know what the funny thing is? All these guys are the epitome of, like, a Drake song. I mean, like, you know how Drake is, right? Where, man, like, one half of it is, like, I'm the baddest rapper alive. Ain't nobody gonna, man, be nothing, man, like that, man. Cause man, like I school motherfuckers, right? But then when he alone, man, or with a girl, he's like, "Yeah, girl, I love you. You always meeting, but well, now, man, eating that shit up." Yeah, that's another thing. Cause ain't that man, what man? They, we they, just read. Basically, they basically make the guy he he be like this this big perfect guy to take her out, take her on picnics. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Show her thing that she never seen before. Even though, even but he though, really a real hood nigga. Even though real when you try nigga. that shit in real life, you know, like they will spit in your face and call you a bitch. So you like, do y'all know what a man is? Like, do all, like listen. We all all black guys are not hood street guys. We uh, are not like that. And, unless you're on that light skin shit, then and, hey, and you and fall they, on that. And then they say that um people, you know. This is what sales and this is what people want. I'm like, to be honest with you, you come to actual books, we read the summary and we look at the cover and then we look at the reviews of your book. It's not the fact that what, what you just wrote, what sales, it your presentation that sales, not your book. For instance, Ebora don't have it have it has some of the elements. It got like a character that may be a hood guy, a character might be a nerd like my friend right here, a character that might be a laid back guy guy or a a guy that don't Guilty. look like a nerd, but is a nerd like myself. It, it, it's like different character. It's just different people in there, but different variety of character, different body shapes, and that's the problem that I don't see in the other book. Like, but Ebar is uh, selling despite being different. Well, let's actually kind of dial it back a little bit. Let's continue right. talking about characters. Go back okay. to character. Oh, okay. The it? main lady, the, the 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 main female. Okay. Oh my God. The main female. Let's keep this focused, okay? <laughs> because we kind of oh my God. go the fuck everywhere with these things. So let's stay focused, okay? Okay, okay. Wait, main wait, wait. female. Main female be this beautiful woman. I mean, she got the body of a goddess. Actually, she doesn't. Total, be, totally. Like honestly, no, 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 like no, 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 no. They never explain that. No, no, no. Listen, no, no, no. They no, never no. explain. They do. They some they do. Like a cold, cold body shape. I mean, thin ass waist. Oh, they gotta have a big booty. Big booty, perfect brain break titties. Like, perfect skin with no cuts, no bumps, no grimaces on it. Full lips, beautiful eye, natural long hair. Well, some of them don't have nah, natural And all their friends look like that, too. I was like, I never in my life growing up all 28 of my years. And you're missing one little fact. Have I seen a group of bad girls that had the same as that body? You're missing but one. Different a bit. You're missing one thing. What? They are the luckiest fucking people on on the planet. 
That's another thing. They be so <laughs> unbelievably wealthy. Yeah, you be like, you sitting there like, why? And they have diplomatic immunity because they, because for some reason, like, they walk through this, this world with no consequences. Shoot people, get away with it. Beat people, people ass, get away with it. Break out of jail. Like, you, you broke out of an insane <laughs> facility. Mental, broke, a, a mental, a mental facility. A, a, a maximum security prison. Yeah, and yeah, like mental facility, she get out of that. Like she drugged the damn doctor, and you take her, her ID badge, and you walk past all the security. How? how? Because because she said she did. Oh, she break out of prison, but you never explain how you did. These characters be so unbelievable. At least in Batman, you may kind of understand. Or a how female they break out. character is so badass. That she could just walk up to a dog girl that talking shit, hit on her face, all good. And that's the end of it. She just walking off while her shit leaking. And her boyfriend don't say anything. Nobody, nobody says anything. Nobody even acknowledges what this bitch just did. I'm like, I'm, I'm just sitting there reading shit like, why are these books like this? Because they have to be. Why? Because they have to be. Character, personality, everybody got the same mentality. For, for every female, like every girl react the same loud that mouth, also, blue rat, black girl. That also like, has to deal with some of the situations too. Yeah. In terms like of the guys react. they date, the way how that they speak, the way how that they handle problems, the way how that say, the way how people treat them. Like it's all it like a lot of it's really similar. You know. And they all the and then every guy like I say, every guy the same guy. And and this goes back to the every, male uh, every, to the male love interest. Every male love interest is the exact same guy. Like, I've been reading, like, books like The Prada Plan. I hate to go toward one of my favorite reads, but um, The Prada Plan, um, Diary of Street Diva, uh, Dirty Money, Supreme Colette. Like, let's say Andy. I will carve you up like the, the um, like, 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 let's say you Andy upside Snow, down. But I gotta Julius take my girl and, out for dinner. You know, Andy Snow, Julius, and I forgot old boy, the other guy name. But all four of them damn characters are the same guy. Like, of course they're the same guy. I, I mean, mean, I mean honestly, you like might kind of make that argument for like a shonen, for uh, for like a shonen main char- character in anime and manga. But even then, you can kind of see that they handle things differently based upon you know, like who they are and how nice, nice or how violent they are. Most of these urban stories is like, well, this guy's kind of the same as the last guy. He has real it, hood, has nigga. the same occupation. Has the same like a, kind of friends. You got some type of business going on, and you're a drug dealer too. And you just so have to be. You got this, this this little boy side that you show only your female, and then you just like this walking god that just could be everybody ass just pull your trigger fast and somebody else. Or you just so aggressive like he a girl. Is. You pull her and put her on your lap like. You feel that thing right there, baby? He's a juggernaut. He waking up. He's a he, juggernaut. He waking up for you, baby. I'm like, nobody can stop him. Who does this? You know who does this. I mean, honestly, man, like, this stretches out, man, to, like, best friend characters, to pretty much, man, like, the rival characters, to people out there, man, like, man, say, at least even the situations. Man, right with Leo. She was like, hey, her and, and Dicel were going back and forth, back and forth. They fighting. I don't want to see... My female, uh, my female, their uh, protagonist going through a book. Wow, no confidence, no, no hardship. She don't grow, and she <laughs> overcome everything. Like she beat everybody ass. Actually, that does kind of go with the whole thing of like the villains too, because again, some, some of, some of the villains really aren't villains. They're just like, well, wait a second, my guy likes you, so I have a problem with you now. Or pretty much like I just steal you know what, because I, 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 I like to steal. I so no that's just me. Throw, you know what? I ain't gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna make a video about it. Don't throw it under the bus. I, yet. No, I ain't know. I was about to throw. No, 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 not that. I was about to throw in plot, but I'll throw plot in later. We just we we tussle every day about the characters already. Not all of it. They're near every day about characters because there's still one more. Go ahead. Best friend characters. Go ahead. Besides the fact that they normally get. Some type of STD and get shot. Why is it that the best friend character is just the sacrifice? They're just a sacrifice. I mean, honestly, they just show up to either die or to be like a hype man or like a hype person. To whereas that they come up and they John, just say, "Be his ass, whoa, nigga, be his ass, John. He gonna be his ass. I'll beat your ass, John." One of those, one of those type of characters. It's either you're a hype person or you just kind of. 
are there to be like, oh, okay, their so character's kind of okay, then they're there to die. Like, some terrible which happens to them. I never seen the fact, like, like the book that I read, like, one love interest already got a girlfriend, the other one cheating her, he got like a side chick, and it's, it used to sitting there like, but they all won't chew, but they already got females, so, and some one of them didn't even have sex with you yet, so, um, is you that bad? I'm just, no. I'm just trying to figure out like, I... all that he did taste the pussy, so when he tasted it, it tastes like hun- honey barbecue ring, it tastes like motherfucking pie like 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 a motherfucking Dale strawberry or cherry cheese cake guys do that before they even do that dude Appar- apparently I mean, apparently man like the guys man who honestly speaking of which also because I think that this is man like the thing that we're talking about the guys man like who just stalk the main female character for no for no for, for, for no fucking reason and then they're like wait I mean like Somebody has been watching too many Disney movies to where that motherfuckers just fall in love for like three days and shit. Cause, because you know Belle had Stockholm Syndrome. She fell in love, man, with the beast when he kidnapped her fucking father. But, you know, you know that's kind of, man, like how that how that works, man, for these. You almost died laughing at myself. No, I don't think... <laughs> no, I was thinking about um that air was thinking about like... When, the, when I said she got like a male friend... And then apparently the dude man like just comes out of nowhere and say, "Hey, I like you." Then <laughs> it could be all owner like like to the point that you just sitting there like, "The fuck wrong with you, bro?" That's sexual harassment, buddy. You know what I mean? Like just walking right, to a girl, walking up, you got a that, boyfriend. Fuck it. that nigga. It's all about me. Which I think that this is actually man like the lead in man to for like um like a few uh, a few years ago where like all of the R&B songs man where I love your girl I can take your girl I can't say like say like I make it do this to your girl I make it say like I make it dick slap your girl and she'll man be all up on me she dick riding me it's like what the fuck man like how come all all of our songs is that is that shit and half these motherfuckers man can't even make any good ass lyrics I walk in the club and then man like I smack her away in my dick and she all on me bro that's a terrible song. You are a terrible rapper. You man, should, you should shit, be ashamed. This shit getting to me, man. It's just so... <laughs> this this I can, genre is... I can see you sweating. It's so much stuff that I gotta talk about. You are seething with rage. I can see it. With, with, like, 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 don't... When we get to plot the next video, we ain't doing it right now, though. But when we get to plot... Oh, my God. I will be honest, dude. I think that that, that that may be only me, but, like, whenever I read an urban book book now, I want to break my damn phone. I got to, and, you know, one main thing before I even go on with this, I got to state this one thing for... Character you know, motivation is always the worst the, thing. Be, I don't want put that in there, too, but listen. One thing, you got to realize something, that urban is not the most popular genre <laughs> out there. You can make it by writing something else. You can and just because you write urban in a street manner don't mean you're going to sell your book. You got to know how to pre-tape your book and promote your book. You got to market it perfectly in order to sell. You can, have, you can write the most best or shittiest book ever. And won't sell if you don't say anything about it. Actually go out there and try to do something with it. Before we end this, I kind of actually have to kind of make like a quick But character thing. more facing. That's the thing. That I you... kind of have to jump now. Well, I have to get out of anger mode real, real quick and actually get into education mode, okay? So, hello, Internet. How is it going? So, there's a little thing out there when pretty much you grow char- characters, and from earlier we were kind of rage- raging about it. There's a little thing that's called character motivation and character development. Character motivation. Okay, it's not a problem that the main hood man likes the main chick of your story who is pretty much man, like a walking goddess. There is no problem with that. However, if you're going to go that route and actually kind of want that to be their main motivation, you kind of have to build it up to where is that we actually kind of want this guy to succeed. You know, it's kind of a little uh, difficult when, like, a guy just kind of just walks up to a girl and just says, hey, sit on my lap. The monster's awake. You know, like, that's not interesting. I mean, you know, kind of have, like, a little bit of a chase there of her saying, hey, I got a boyfriend. Or, hey, I just got out of a rocky relationship. Then have him do things to kind of build that relationship and actually make you want to see them get get together because they make because they could have chemistry but 
a lot of people kind of forget that and they they get lost in the whole thing of well this is all they're about sit on my dick that's not good that's just terrible you know what i mean and again even if like you could pass that off at least do it like in an interesting way of kind of have them playing back and forth and actually kind of kind of throwing like a little bit of like um i want to say deceit you know what i mean of like oh wait man like she kind of likes it okay but her current boyfriend like you know he finds out about it and then you know they kind of have a little bit of back back and forth have her like string 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 him along or some shit she ugly as hell yes she is but but but, anyway. but but like you get but like but but, uh, but but like you get what I mean right yeah. I mean if you're going to have it do something with it don't just say okay um plan A he likes her plan B eh, plan C profit like I need the B. I need the connection. I need the fucking journey. Give me the goddamn journey. And people, they always forget that. You know, saying like, like it's a, even if somebody likes him you, because he's a thug and he like him because he's bad as hell, and then they just connect instantly. I mean, shit don't work like that. I mean, again, if you like somebody, you will have have problems. Not blatant fucking problems. Just like you make a nigga want to go to the gym, get completely buff, get a whole lot of tattoo. What I mean We're by that is all the time. what I mean by that is is look, she she is the main girl. She likes him. He is the love interest. He, he likes her. Been ten minutes long. We we like went beyond the damn. Movie. We kind of we have to teach these fucking people, dude, because they're gonna keep doing it. If they don't hear us say stop it, they're gonna keep doing it. Go okay, ahead. shame on shame on all of you who do this shit. Shame on all of you. But still, if you have two goals, okay, they're gonna get together. They like each other. Okay, so what is the conflict in the middle to make their relationship stronger? Is there like a say? Is there a love triangle? Is she stringing? Is say is she stringing him on? Does he have to work for that love? Is she being harassed by somebody to make him fight them so that she can trust him more? Like, is he talking to her? Is she's going say uh, going through problems? Is he supporting her? Is he pretty much the only person in my life who's out there look, looking out for her and answering her calls when she needs help? Do something like that to make us interested in this guy to say, well, now he's working for that. Other than that, it's like, well, hey, that pussy is on lease. She may like just, she just flooded the market, man, or, or with that shit. Just give it away, all right? Because it's not even all that fucking important. Just, hey, man, she got seven guys on her, and they all make, gave her money. She just flooding the market, man, with, with pussy. Hey, you know, stocks are, say, stocks and bonds are, bonds are just, I say, are just rising. Just get that shit, man, like off the shelf, man, like the up, thing, uh, some chips at Walmart. The thing is, though, no. I mean, the thing about these girls, some of them, I'm like, besides the way she look, what is remotely <laughs> appealing about her? Well, dude, as far as I know. Personality word, why they shitty as hell. Personality wise, man, man, those they girls loud, are floating clothes. They just Float, loud mouth and just get in trouble here. and just beat up people for no apparent reason. I mean, if there is a sense of just walking away. I mean, some they, some right there doing this, she's just talking shit. So I'm talking to somebody talking shit. Most of them are Batman like, villains. They, I just, I just, these fuckers are Batman I villains. I just look at them like, okay, and just keep on going. As long as you ain't trying to walk towards me or anything, you just talking shit. Some, uh, people, some people let words hurt them. It's just, man, it's, it's so much. I gotta make a part two on character. It's just so much shit. Character. That, that you could dive in about some of these characters. We still man. didn't even talk about all plot yet. Man, the, the serious part. We still talking about character motivation. So we'll be we'll, we'll be back with that shit next week. <sighs> but this shit be just as long, man. Like um, uh, as a TV video, thirty minutes for TV video be thirty minutes now. Mm-hmm. His video, uh-huh. his fucking ReZero video mail mail was twenty eight minutes. Who the fuck sat there and watched that? His fans. But anyway, because he has some shit to get off his chest. About he- eight. <laughs> How do you make a thirty minute? Video on it. Watch it and find out, cause I don't get it. I say I couldn't watch that shit. I still on unexpected and wonder. We Make made, it a half hour? No, he made a fifty nine minute video on the last two chapters of Naruto. How the fuck? I think it? he made an hour video upon like the the um, finale of um of Kill a Kill, about how it was the greatest show ever. <sighs> Even though it's not, but whatever. <sighs> Man, I still like Gurren Lagann better than that. Kamiya for life. But anyway, finally, <laughs> it, it, it messed up that this 
th- this is still going on. We padded it again. We padded it again. It just didn't make no sense. We padded it. No, I got to upload some videos. But anyway, we padded it again. Tell you guys, thank. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and you see why I make a video with this jackass. It be long in any video I make with because Chris. we got some shit to get off our chest. And fuck all y'all out there, man. Like who say that that goofy motherfucker, man? Like has big ass ears. I got the biggest ears upon man on the planet. Y'all better respect me, bitch. We out of here. Peace out. Fuck all y'all.